go now. Wow, we really do have a lot of calls today. 888-318-7884 is the number if you want to get in line to speak with uh, uh, Gary Zimak. Uh, on stopping that worrying and starting living, we're going to go to, to Elias, I guess, in El Monte, California, listening on Immaculate Heart Radio. Elias, your question for Gary. Oh, yes, I just wanted to say that basically Pope Francis obviously uh, gets a lot of press, and sometimes uh, it turns into, you know, controversy, especially the way it's put out there. And I have a friend who gets, uh, a very close friend, who gets very troubled by a lot of things. Me, personally... I like what the Pope's saying half the time, because when I dig deep, it ends up being something great. Mm -hmm. But uh, I also find that uh, he looks up websites. My friend looks up websites that are very troubling, you know, a twist on the church, and and, and we're in the, you know, the. You know, so how do I, what's the best way to reach him and explain to him, hey, it's, it, God doesn't want you to worry about these things. He, he has a control on the church. That's a common question, Elias. I was just talking with a friend about that today. Very, very common question. You know what helps me when I open my Bible and I look at Matthew 16, verse 18? Jesus said, And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. The Pope is selected by the Holy Spirit, and I figure the Holy Spirit knows what he's doing. Uh, you know, it's a matter of trusting in what Jesus said, that the, the, the Holy Father will lead the church, but yeah, there's a lot of questions about what the Pope's saying, what he's doing. A lot of times it's being misreported by the press, so we've got to be careful about that and just go back to the words of Christ. St. Peter was the first Pope. St. Peter had a lot of character flaws, too, and the Church has survived for 2,000 years. You know, that's the thing. Does that help at all? Yeah, the, the, yeah the, one of the things I tell him, too, is just, you know, the don't sometimes you gotta just detox from the internet. Oh, just don't oh, yeah. open up stuff that's gonna freak you out, you know? That's amen, brother. 